just so much going on, my brain. Hey guys, it's your girl Aisha, aka GeekXX Chic, and we are back with another reaction to My Hero Academia. We are now on the episode that is called Hopes. So last episode, we see more of just the absolute chaos that is this all-out assault that is going on between the uh, army of All for One and the high schoolers from uh, My Hero Academia, and it was not going well. We see that the sad man's death parade is in full effect, and we've got Midoriya still dealing with what's going on in the coffin in the sky now because what's his face? The void head, Kirigiri, I keep forgetting his name. Anyway, he brought um, some people over to basically mess up that party and they distracted the poor guy who was channeling Azawa's power. So unfortunately we see that that just sent a ripple effect of a, bad, a lot of bad things happening at once and the coffin in the sky started falling. And we know that if it falls, it's gonna have a very, very huge impact and hurt a lot of people. But then we saw that it was saved at the last minute by the gentle, what the gentle villain, I think it was called. <laughs> he came in at the last minute and was able to at least slow things down to stop the massive impact that would have happened otherwise. And then we see that there was also um, Nagant, Lady Nagant came in last minute shooting a bullet from 600 miles away and stopping what would have been a pretty bad moment. So just constant nonstop action. And I'm just ready to jump into this episode. But just before I do, a reminder that if you'd like to be in the know when I drop episodes, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button as well as the notification bell. All right, that out of the way, let's get into the episode right now. <laughs> True, but she wants to help. Yeah, we're in a place where unfortunately we ain't got time for her to heal up. You're going back to jail. Damn. <laughs> Damn. It really will be your last shot. Oh. Your arm is so gross. That's cool. Both hands? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Woo! Thank you. Nope. He's right, like the coffin is no longer useful for what they wanted it for. <laughs> Shut up! And you let him. Weak. Such a creepy image, I hate it so much. It's so weird. Oh, really? Bro, this is not it. This is really not it. They're not, he's not your friend, bro. He will literally touch you and disintegrate you. Mm -hmm. How are his hands back? Midoriya, you're killing me, bro. Yes, sure. Yes, he does. He senses you, bro. Well, that's what makes you a true hero. <laughs> Damn, we almost had an altruistic moment. <laughs> She's like, um, excuse me, I have a bit of an obsession and I need to take care of that since I helped y'all out. Deal with it. You did it, gentle villain. Good job, buddy. Yeah, at this point, I mean, even if he took him out of the, as long as he didn't take him to like, you know, the ground quickly. Oh, so much going on, my brain. Yo, stop talking about it and actually execute, bro. It's not going well for you. 
一番暗い明るい未来のだがその僕に風は吹いていい。Yeah, I was about to say, bro, with all this talking. Oh. I ox. Damn. Thank God. Why does he have a giant finger? Hey, I have not seen him since what, season two? Love it! Can we stay focused? Because it's not going to be that easy. They needed help, thank God, yes. Throwing clones at him. I can't. Yeah. They were frenemies. Oh, is that all? Anything else you need me to do? Just reverse gravity? <laughs> what is that now? Okay, but that's good though. Like, bad for you. But good because he's burning up that energy that he had from Airy faster. God, all you do is talk, bro. Like, if you want to date All Might, all you have to do is say so. so this is like so dramatic. Ew. Those are fingers? Showing hands and fingers. I don't want him to steal your quirk, though, bro. I'm dead ass. It's a nice idea. Oh, don't, don't, don't hurt him. The hell? That's hot. It's hot. It's not gonna be enough, but I appreciate it. Is that a body that just flew? <laughs> It's not gonna be enough, but bro, this is really cool. Oh, his little baby wings. Woo! And that's, that's payback for taking my friend's ear. That's hot. Even if he doesn't win, at least he got a shot in. That was really hot. Good job, Miami! Jitai wa mada. Fair enough. I mean, I love the optimism, but it's looking pretty damn bad, I'm not gonna lie. No, I think you're right about that one. Can her ear? No. Why can't you indeed? Maybe you don't. Maybe Ochako is who you really love. Oh, there you are. You're not Jin, sis. No, oh, who let him wake up? Plus Ultra. How is it not the worst when Gigamonte is awake? I, I mean, that's good, right? That's what heroes do. They always see the light at the end of the tunnel, right? Even though it's another train. <laughs> All right, guys. That was a lot. That episode was a lot. It was just constant. <laughs> these, these episodes are so much right now. But, you know, this is what we have to come up to, right? This is what all these seasons have come up to. This is the all or nothing. Like, if they don't win it this time, All Might, not All Might, sorry, All for One will have won, which we can't let that happen. Too many people have paid 
too many prices for this to, to not work out, hopefully. But anyway, I think the highlights of the episode, um, my man, Dark Shadow, leveling up first time. Well, actually he's leveled up a lot since season one, obviously, but that was amazing. As I said in the episode, he owed all for one a lick back from a couple episodes back because he did the most. He's got a few holes here and there from all, all for one and also getting his bestie's ear. So good on him for getting that little lick back. Like I said, I know it's not gonna be enough, but listen, anytime you can give a little smacky smack to that arrogant a-hole, I'm down for it. So that was amazing. Um, we see that unfortunately the coffin in the sky is now moot. There's no more fighting in there. My man Midoriya had to take Shigaraki out of there because now that he no longer has his quirks blocked, he knew that that wasn't gonna work anyways. Not to mention that uh, with all the clones continuously producing, like it's just gonna be too much. So anyways, he took Shigaraki out and we saw from Shigaraki that he said that even though All For One was doing his thing in the background, he's been kind of hiding behind all the other things, all the other quirks, etc., and weaving his own little pattern, weaving his own little thing to be able to take back his own control when the time was right. You know, he's saying, and we've seen that throughout the series, that Shigaraki's never been 100% for All For One's plan, but he didn't also see a, a way around it in order to accomplish what he wanted to, which was basically to get revenge on everyone. He's one of those people, right? He thinks everybody is at fault for the crappy, crappy life that he had. So anyways, so yeah, that's what's going down. It's still Shigaraki versus Midoriya, but they're taking a bit of a breather right now, to be perfectly honest. And I think they both need it because they went hard in the paint a few episodes ago. And outside of that, we see that the gentle villain or whatever, he uh, <laughs> he did manage to save things up until his hacker friend managed to get everything back online. So at least that disaster has been averted. So we appreciate that bit. And then Lady Nagant, she was able to shoot off both of Shigaraki's hands, which was a good thing because that's what stopped him from destroying the coffin in the sky. So I kind of like that she got a little bit of a lick back there, but we see that it took her out though because she was not fully healed. But thank you, sis. Hopefully you survived it and you did your part. Uh, but yeah, so we got all that going on, of course, with the big battle, which is still raging on. But we see that they're not giving up, that the heroes, even though they're seeing that things are pretty much almost as bad as they can get, we see that the vo the viewpoint is as, as, they, as they've all said is that it's not it's not the worst yet it's not over yet and it's true as long as they're still breathing there's still a chance everybody's gonna keep going until they literally can't keep going so good on them and I like you know whatever I hear all for one say I don't like that look or I don't like that that's a good thing that means that he is consistently underestimating the power of the human spirit. And so, yeah, we see that we got backup as well from one of the sister schools to UA. Thank goodness we needed them. I haven't seen them since, what was that, season three, I think was the last time we saw some of those characters. So it's nice to see them again. And they needed the help by far. But yeah, this is what's showing. It's that all out brawl that we need because that's what you need to take down someone as huge as all for one and also all the different people he's got working for him speaking of people working for him Kuragiri is going through it right now looks like maybe just maybe Azawa and uh Mr. Loudspeaker there might have managed to get through to him after all those months of trying to get through to him he's malfunctioning to say the least <laughs> at the moment he seems to be we saw the really good imagery of half of his human face and the other half of his um his quirk face so he is definitely fighting the programming between the two worlds. We'll see what happens. Hopefully he'll be able to gain at least a, some, a, some sense of himself. He may not be able to fight, but if he just stops working for Shigaraki, that'll be a win in of itself for the heroes. So as I said, lots going on. Still very much interested to see what's coming up. And yeah, seeing this preview, it's gonna get even crazier. So yeah, I gotta give this show its props. It is pulling out all the stops for this final battle for the, what I think is the final season. So it's what we deserve. I'm definitely looking forward to it. So I appreciated this episode, loved it. Hope you guys enjoyed watching along with me. If you did, please show some love and I will see you in the next one.